As a sports fan, I see a lot of economics whenever I'm watching any game on television, and I wanted people who didn't see that to learn a little bit about economics through a fun mechanism. So I have a new book called An Economist Goes to the Game, and it's just basically explaining a bunch of key ideas in economics through the lens of sports. So the book opens with discussing youth sports, and a lot of us can relate to this. I spent many happy years as a child playing Little League and doing other sports, and I spent many years as a parent reliving those days vicariously. I think I always did that with the right view that it's just for fun, kids should be kids, the games should be games, but a lot of parents take this a little too far, and they think of this as, let's invest in my kid's future now, here in the United States, the best possible case that can probably be made is the relationship between youth sports and future college opportunities. Now, having said that, the economics don't generally support that, that your likelihood of getting a return on investment as a child is going to pay off for most kids. If you look around sports, game theory is all around in, in many of them. So as an example, in basketball, the book starts with Michael Jordan and Steve Kerr winning the NBA championship back in 1997 for the Chicago Bulls. And it's very game theoretic. Michael Jordan knew when to shoot, how often to shoot, and how often to pass. He was the best player on the court when, when he was active. And at any given moment, he should everything else equal, he should take the ball and shoot. But the defense, if they knew he was going to shoot, all five people would be on top of him. And so game theory suggests that he needs to pass the ball, as he did very successfully to Steve Kerr to win the championship, just the right fraction of time. Michael Jordan didn't sit down and take economics classes to work this out, and he doesn't do any math to figure it out. But over a period of time, he's really optimized around that. I hope when people read my book, they'll watch SportsCenter a whole different way from then on. A lot of people will watch games and they'll be like, well, why would he do that? He's not good at that particular move. And the key is you have to keep people off guard. Economics and game theory are all about randomizing your behavior in a way that optimizes your outcome, even though in any given moment, you might end up doing something that's not exactly the, your best move.